You have made Pueblo proud, you have made our community proud, and as I know, um, one day, I hope my son or daughter, they are sitting where you are because I know you've made your parents incredibly proud. You bet. So, without any further ado, well, I'd like to really place our focus. And many of you don't know why we're here, but that's okay, because you'll know real shortly. Because we are here to talk about these senior warriors. So my name is Isaac Ortega, and as a matter of fact, I'm a Pueblo alum, a proud Pueblo alum. And I also happen to be the student body president at the University of Arizona. So I know you're probably wondering why we're here in the first place, why you guys are sitting right here. Uh, but we have a really special surprise. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? There you go, that was a lot better. So, um, I, think, I know you guys all think this assembly is like any other assembly, but we have something special to say. Every single one of the students sitting up here, you guys all applied to the University of Arizona. And guess what? We said yes. that you took action with our Wildcat Promise campaign. You earned admission early, earlier than most students do across the country. We are so proud that you did. And not only did you earn admission, just in your small group right here alone, over $200,000 in scholarships was earned as a part of this process. So as you know, by applying for the Wildcat Promise, we promise to give you a decision by tomorrow, November 5th. But you are one of the very first groups anywhere to know that you got your acceptance. So we're really proud to offer that to you a day early. And you're able to tell us when you're ready. I just wanted to say how proud I am of you seniors that have received your early acceptance into the University of Arizona. I'm very proud of you and I know that if your parents are here in the audience, they're even more proud of you. So let's give your parents a round of applause. Let's also give your teachers a round of applause if they're here as well, because without them you wouldn't be here. I simply have one challenge. I want all of the students on both sides that are looking at our new college accepted students sitting on the floor to imagine yourself there. I want you juniors, I want you freshmen and sophomores to think about the types of decisions that you have to make so that next year you have the opportunity to find out that you've been accepted into college early. That's what you want to do. That's what you need to do. Thank you all for being excellent role models. Thank you all for being the best of Pueblo, and thank you for being the best of TUSD. Has said to me, uh, Mayor, why don't you come out an hour earlier and I'll show you how we're making Tucson 
a better place. And he was right. What we have right here. Eduardo Cruziano, George Lopez, Sierra Lugo, Cecilia Machado, Destiny, Andrea Martinez, Alexis McElroy, Sierra Mejia. J-O-R-G-E-L-O-P-E-Z. What happened here today? Uh, well, we had an assembly, but none of us knew exactly what it was for. They just called our names and told us to sit down, but uh, when the time came, they surprised us and told us that we had been accepted to the University of Arizona. It's just, it's great not having to worry about it. You know that now you're accepted, now you could start on your, your path, you know, what career you're gonna take and you don't have to worry about it at the end of the year where you're worrying about maybe I didn't make it, maybe I won't have a future. Like it just, it takes a lot of stress away. Um, how does it make you feel about yourself? What, what, have you worked hard to get here? I, I actually have because uh, truthfully my, my freshman and sophomore year I didn't do as great and so I had to work really hard to get, get back up to the level where I could be uh, so I could get into the U of A. And it just it just makes you feel great to know that you are you are accepted. So the first is the hard part is say and spell your name. Okay. Daniel Vega, D A N I E L V E G A. Uh, Maria Luisa Vega, M A R I A uh, L O U I S A V E G A. Thank you. I'm so excited for you. What was it like to be sitting there in the seat and find out you're going to the U of A? It was really exciting. I was just really, um, I don't know, kind of it made me think about the future and what it's going to be like to be a Wildcat. Just seeing all of the members from U of A come and congratulate us with all of the posters and stuff like that. So. No, you didn't know no, it was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you thought she was kidding. Just the uh, medallion of hope, we thought. So it was a very surprising yeah. to, to know and just uh, just reassuring um, us, just all the hard work that she's done throughout the year and all the other students. And just for the community, uh, this is a beautiful time to celebrate the community's success and watching the kids. And it's really special to be there. Yeah. yeah. Mom, how did you feel? <laughs> I was really excited. I started tearing up and I was just, yeah, it was, it was really great to see all the kids that got accepted. It was really exciting for all the students. Especially you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So do you know what you're going to study? Um, I wanted to um, go into pre-med, so I want to be a pedi uh, pediatrician. So yeah, so, yeah, I'm really excited. So um, what do you think you'll do? Will you say yes to the U of A? Yes, for sure. So I want to be a pedi uh, pediatrician. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Cool. So, um, what's really important to think about this university that's right here in your backyard? The University of Arizona is ranked number 64 
among all the universities in Arizona Zoo. Arizona Zoo? In addition to an outstanding education, you're going to have the opportunity to have the full college package with athletics and all of the fun and tradition that go. Congratulations and bear down. Accepted class of 2019 right in front of me. Congratulations to you guys. So since we brought